Well, you guys want more Xcode tutorials, and here's an Xcode tutorial. Uh, in the last video, I talked about kind of the fundamentals of Xcode and a whole bunch of different things. So if you haven't watched the first one, I recommend you do go check that out. You can uh, just click the uh, screen right now, and it'll take you there. Uh, otherwise, today we will be making a very basic web browser. And this web browser is going to be another app that, believe it or not, does not require any code. The reason why I'm showing you this is just to give you uh, a few examples of the different methods that are built into the web browser system. So uh, let's start this up. And there's going to be another Cocoa app. And we'll name this Web Browser. Okay. Now, the first thing we have to do is let me just show you what happens if we load up Interface Builder. All right, let's just pretend that we're going to start out right now and just put our web view on the page. Normally, you think this would be fine and that would be all great. However, by default, if you have a web view on your app and click build and run, it will not open. And you'll see this in a second. Okay, it bounces up in my dock, but no matter how long I wait, this will not open. So let's kill this by going to run stop. And what we actually have to do is add a framework. So we're going to right click on web browser and click add existing frameworks. And uh, we can just select frameworks from the top drop down all the way down. You'll see webkit.framework. Now if we build and run, it pops up instantaneously. Okay. So let's jump back in Interface Builder. In fact, I'll hide Xcode. And let's go over here to our main menu. So let's see, what do we need? We don't need preferences, don't really need services. We'll keep all those because those can help. And then uh, we don't need help. We don't really have any help for this app. Uh, let's just keep file. Maybe we should rename that to something like. Uh, hmm. Tools, I guess. Who cares? And uh, we're not going to name this new. Let's do. Hmm. Thinking back. Okay. And if we double click on the little keyboard shortcut over here, we can change it. And I just hit Command Left Arrow to uh, to mask that as the as the uh, keyboard shortcut. And now for the next one, let's do forward. There we go. And uh, delete that. And this one will be reload command R. Uh, stop. As in, like, you know how Safari has stop loading the page. We'll make that uh, command S, I guess, is fine. Ah. There we go. And uh, save as we don't need, revert to save we don't need, print we will keep. Okay, that's it. Now let's move along to our actual window. So this is going to be quite large. And I'm not going to make it textured today, just because I did it in both of the apps in the first video. So let's take our uh, web view here, make this considerably larger. And again, I'm just going to make this window non-resizable because we don't really need it to be resized. Uh, do you want it to be textured? Maybe it's nice to be textured. I don't know. Then we have this big white square here. And, uh, I don't think we need it. Yeah, I guess we'll keep it textured. All right. Uh, let's go into our library, and we're going to add a text field. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Drag this out. All the way over there. Okay. Now I'm just at, I'm going to put in HTTP colon slash slash because uh, when we do this, by default, um, not like Safari, we actually do have to type in HTTP colon slash slash. So just make sure you uh, type that in whenever you try to load the uh, web view. And uh, of course, now we need a whole bunch of buttons. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, which would be nice. Now oh, that's like retardedly huge. Okay. Gradient button over here. And I will name this reload. Okay, and I uh, guess that's good. Move that out of the way. Now make another one over here. Just put an X there for stop. Make that a little more square. Okay, there we go. So now we have um, the uh, text box and the two buttons that are reload and stop reloading. So basically you can reload either by that button or by the tools menu, but a lot of times people don't even look in the menu. So, Alright, and now let's add some more buttons. Uh, I guess we'll use these buttons. They look kind of nice. Uh, we're going to name this back. Actually, what we can do, actually, let's just put a uh, little arrow there. I think that's nicer. Resize that a little bit. And copy and paste that. Make it a forward arrow. Okay. Now we have those two. And now, what else do we need? We have the reload. We have the stop reloading. We have the two arrows. I think all we need now is print. We don't even need all of this space. We can just I'm go like this, really. Okay. And uh, do the same over here, too. Make sure we have enough space for the print button. Okay. Right and print. Print. Alright, now of course we don't have enough space to resize these again. Okay, oh my god, I can never just have them like one pixel apart. I have to make sure they're perfect. Okay, now that's done. Uh, I think the last thing I'm going to do is maybe just add a little quit button down at the bottom maybe. Drag this type of button out. Okay. That's pretty good. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to move these up a little bit because we have all the space and reset my window and we are done now before we go and take a look at this uh, I want to actually show you guys if we click on the title bar and go over to uh, where is it this tab we hit the one that looks like a ruler we can select how the window is going to open up so I'm just going to drag this to the center basically and then click preview so now that's exactly the position that the window is going to open up whenever we start the application. So that's a good thing to use. And uh, now let's do the, uh, I'm not going to say coding because we really don't have the code. But basically, we're just going to right click on everything again. If, uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go into my uh, first video. Uh, again, because that's where we learn like the fundamentals. But uh, if we drag the back button to the web view, we can select go back and that will link them together. So now I'm just going to do the rest of them. Go forward. Uh, the text box is going to be take string URL from. Reload is going to be uh, reload. Stop reloading is going to be stop loading. And print is going to be print. Then quit just like in the first video 
we're gonna link quit to the application and select terminate okay now we just have to do that for the menu back is gonna be go back forward is gonna be go forward reload is gonna be reload stop is going to be stop loading print is gonna be print and that's it uh, the ones in the first menu are really linked up already so we don't even have to worry about them okay alright that's it now if we go back into Xcode and we build this and run it you see we have this nice little window here and I'm gonna type in www. let's go to my website knowyourmac.com hit enter and this will load up give it a second there we go okay wow all right now if we click reload uh... you don't really see too much but you see kinda some things reloading and now if we go to www.google.com we can hit the back button and it'll go back to knowing Mac Tuts and the forward button will go to google and then uh... the print button this loads up a little uh... A little thingy of <laughs> a print dialog box that's what I wanted to say and uh, that's basically the same thing yeah that we get in Safari and um, yeah the one the tools work as well you can go back we can go forward and uh, the keyboard shortcuts work so if I command left arrow command right arrow command R uh, and command P those all work pretty nicely. That's all you have to do to make a, an extremely simple web browser in uh, Xcode. I know this isn't too advanced, but really it just shows you uh, uh, a little bit more of what type of methods are built into Interface Builder. So again, if you want more of Xcode tutorials, let me know and I'll be happy to make them. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.